okay uh, now we are going to create a new player uh, prefab using this humanoid mech okay there's another video in the playlist I'm going to uh, let both in YouTube this is a new one uh, with the this character wizard updated it has more parameters but um, it's almost the same okay the idea is to um, first of all create a new scene I recommend you to close unity open it again and then create your character it, unity has like a garbage collector that I couldn't clean uh, with this character script and sometimes this made some mistakes uh, when the prefab is created so if you have uh, now I'm going to show you how it should be uh, finished okay and if that not the result then close unity and open again and try it um, the idea is to click on the create character we are going to create a player and character mesh we have to select the FBX this box with a white uh, sheet they're not the um, not the prefab okay um, in this case this one okay uh, you need the FBX then you need uh, your prefab reference you need you I want to create this with the UI on the left side um, so I'm using this and the character controller is this one okay um, this is a mix between root motion and, and not root motion okay and this is the default uh, you can check it here if you go to the player you see which uh, controller is using now okay then we have these names okay I know for this character is the same but if you don't know if you are using another character you can throw the the FEX and open the bones and search the name okay copy paste the name of the hand and the name of the other hand okay this is a process okay delete this and now we are going to create a player okay we click create and the idea is that we end up with this weapon IK aim okay if you don't have this it's not going to work okay this IK shows you a gizmo of this weapon to to put it exactly in the hand and this shows you how it's going to work okay and uh, you need to check that these two weapon R and L R okay this one is here okay and the other one uh, is the this one okay this one you we can move this to the center of the hand okay uh, this is where the um, grenades are going to be spawned so it's important so after that we need to assign the material to the character okay and create the prefab okay this is going to be my player so now I can go to this well this scene okay and 
we are going to replace this for this new character and when we start we are going to have our our new character here okay okay to finish this new character we need to add the ragdoll properties to the skeleton so we throw the the prefab pressing alt click we can open all the hierarchy and then game object 3d object uh, ragdoll here we we have to assign the different bones okay and create and apply okay did this and now our character can die and play rangles okay and if you don't want uh, ragdoll physics you uh, have the option to turn it off okay here in the inventory if you turn off this it's going to use the death animation 